the glory of God is coming soon. The glory of God is coming soon. And when God's glory does fall, we need to jump right in it. We want you to be a part of it. I'm going to share about a vision concerning the coming move of God and so much more. Take a look. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Some of the things that the Lord has told us and shown us is that you are going to be coming from mm. the north, the south, right. the east, and the west. The four winds are going to be coming and bringing you in because God is going to be doing something powerful on the, the, in the glory zone in, in America, and He's going to be imparting things to you, and then you're going to get it, what God's doing, and you're going to carry it back. Yeah to your nations and to your communities, and it's gonna be exciting. Make sure you know where we are on the map. That's right, look us up. Because you wanna be a part of what God's doing. We're so excited about our new book, I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You gotta have a strategy and you gotta fight. It's not about a physical fight, but you gotta fight. And guess what, if you fight, you win, you'll be successful. This book is about transforming your thoughts, about what your beliefs, the decisions that you're making, about speaking, what you say is so powerful, and what you do, what you're saying, your actions you take, and quitting, don't quit. Listen, success and failure quite often is just five more minutes. And finally, think about this. So many people talk about you should do this, and you should do this, and you should do this, and look what they're doing, they're not doing nothing. You can't let people tell you you should do this. You should. As a matter of fact, they can't be putting their should on you. This is so important. Listen, we wanna bless you with your free copy of I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success, you can get it at vfnkb.com. That's vfnkb.com. Get your free copy today. Now, I've, I've literally seen, you know, what's taking place. I remember walking in the midst of it prophetically in a dream, and all, it's, all the nations were there, John. Mm. And there's, like, there's like this holy hush, because when the presence of God, the glory of God's there, it's just, you just, we're all family, right? And we're all created by God, yeah. and we just know it's okay to be quiet, and it was just awesome. But there was just different nations and all that, and your nation was there too, so don't miss out. Listen, when God is doing something, don't wait for it to come to you. What God's doing, just dive into it. And what happens is, when God's moving, and there's a porthole open up in, in the heavenlies, and His angels are ascending and descending and shifting cultures and nations and all, you want to be right in the middle of that, that downfall yeah. of what's taking place. You, you talk about that holy hush. I remember seeing the same thing. I was walking through this this outpouring of spirit there was so many people mm -hmm. I mean jammed packed there were even people sitting on the floor but there was yeah. such a hush and a reverence for the presence of God people were packed in like sardines but they were just happy yeah. to be in his presence and it was just a beautiful thing every tribe yeah people singing worshiping in different languages packed in but they were so so sounds like revelations there. right every yeah. tribe tongue and also I, I remember seeing this part of it too maybe you've seen let us know you comment below you want to hear about what god is telling you about what he's doing in this day and the, and the outpouring and the glory outpouring and the great awakening and everything that he's doing and going to do but uh, another thing that he showed me was uh and we weren't even talking about this but we're talking about it now <laughs> is that um you know this one particular man i saw in this 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 vision was if he's from he's from uh, South America, and okay. if everybody knows him in South America, so he's like a real famous man, and you know everybody would want his autograph and want to spend time with him. They you know they knew about his Isn't career. Yes, and it's, I believe it was the entertainment mountain where he worked. But what God showed me was he was running a camera, John, hmm. in the presence of God because you have so many things going on. But you got to run cameras. I sure. mean, camera. Camera men and women are so important. Without them, we couldn't even get this to you right now. It's amazing how important it's they beautiful. are. And so he was running a camera. Somebody who, who's the, the, the top of the heap in South, South America came to the glory zone, and he was just grateful to be in the presence of Dear God. God. And instead of you know thinking about himself and opportunities, sure. like, I just want to serve. And so he's sitting on a camera, one of those cameras you could sit on, it's like a seat, and it c you can crank it like a crane and go all over the place. It was just amazing to see that. So no matter, I don't care if you're the, the leader of your country, I don't care if you're part of the parliament of your country, or part of the Senate or Congress or whatever, or you're, you're, a, um, you're, you're a housekeeper at a local school, God wants to touch everyone. Mm. So get your expectancy up. You can find out more about this, you know, on the VFN Torch, you know, type in things yeah. about the glory zone and revival and the yeah. outpouring and... You know, we came out of the, the Brownsville Revival that Absolutely. took place, started Father's Day of 1995. And as a matter of fact, we're going to go in, in a couple of days and spend some time with Pastor John Kilpatrick. Yeah. 
and with a lot of other ministers coming in. And I'm telling you, God's going to do it again, and it's going to be bigger than ever before. I'm so know? excited about what you're saying because yeah. even there's some of you that's thinking, you know, oh, that's wonderful, that's great, but maybe I've missed my time. I don't know how can I be a part of it. When the glory falls and it's going to fall yeah. and when the outpouring happens, everybody's going to want to serve. There's something on the inside of you that says, I just want to be a part, God. What can I do? I remember I was just so happy to mm -hmm. be a, a doorkeeper, an usher. Right. If I could just hold the door right. that period of my life, you know, then at Brown's Revival, I was so happy to do that. Because and now you're here. Think about it. You're yeah. willing to hold a door, and now God says, I want you to be on national beautiful? television, right? International television. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I want to encourage you to, I'm thinking about this, because quite often people think that, you know, God brings in a huge revival or a great awakening because people became so holy and perfect. Mm. And the reality is, it's nor normally because we've gone astray yeah. and we're dry and we're, we're, you know, got injured or whatever it is. And God comes in and re that's what revival is. He revives us from that place. So if you're angry, you don't know why I'm used to be able to be just happy about everything and you were free, but now maybe you've been hurt. Maybe, you know, a passion denied perverts. Maybe mm. you, you, your passion got all twisted up in some stuff or, or maybe, you know, you, you know, um, hope deferred makes a heart sick and you're just, you know, you, you quit hoping and you're perfectly set up for revival. Understand, <laughs> I remember when, I remember Father's Day 1995, I, I, we told more details about this and you can find it on the VFN Torch at, at vfnkb.com. But that we were at wit's end, you know, where we were, <clears throat> and, and <clears throat> we were not deserving, you know, mm. something happening. But God chose, you know, chose, you know, what he did not truly believe because of Pastor John Kilpatrick crying out. And he was pointing us, you know, to revival and telling us what he's seen. But we were so disconnected because we didn't see what he saw. Mm. And we did, you know, followed his leadership. And then even his heart got sad in, in wanting to see it take place. And, but it was at that one point, you know, where he thought, you know, he just didn't care anymore. So you get the point. He did care, but you know, you're just so out of it. His mother just passed. He's a, he's a man of excellence and high character and always just integrity, yeah. integrity and just a good person, a very good person. But, you know, he's Jesus like all of us. He would tell you that. But it was at that point, almost against his will, because mm. he was willing it all along. Sure. But once he got to the point where, you know, whatever, God showed up and just kissed him and, and blessed him. And, and, and he went out under the glory of God. You know, Steve Hill was there ministering and, and uh, Steve Hill came and Steve Hill was gonna speak that night. And um, Brother Kilpatrick, Pastor Kilpatrick was gonna speak that morning and he only came in because there was one particular man, he was a single father and it was Father's Day and he was gonna get the award and that, that good heart he has to come in. He's gonna show up Only anyway. for that, wow. it was to come in and uh, we were in the, um, the parlor that morning praying for, we're going to pray for him. We had a little small group, you know, Promise Keepers group. And uh, uh, we were going to go in and, and, and pray for him. And uh, pray for Pastor Kilpatrick. Pastor, Pastor Kilpatrick that morning. And, you know, and he was at that state. And he just pointed at Steve Hill, who was on fire. He says, pray for him. You know, pray for him. And uh, he was looking out the window. And maybe that's you. Maybe you're looking out the window right now and you're thinking, how do I get out of here? Mm. I mean, I think about, think about this. Maybe you're thinking what you preach for all these years, you literally have said to yourself, is this a sham? Is this real? I mean, you know, what am I saying? And the enemy's coming in, causing you to doubt everything you've ever done, everything you ever said. And I'm not saying this was Pastor John Kilpatrick. I'm just saying this is maybe you. And then you're just thinking, but it wasn't. You're just, you're just under oppression and attacked by the enemy. But I'm telling you, God's going to deliver you. He's going to set you free. You know, a revival's coming because God loves you. God wants to kiss you and revive you. He wants his outpouring. He's going to come in a special way. And the moment, the moment, I don't care if it's a plane, train, jet, backpack, hiking, camels, ever how you can get to what God's going to do, I want you to get there. And what he showed us specifically, it's going to happen all over the world, mm. but he also showed us the glory zone is going to touch, which is the Gulf Coast region, almost from Destin, Florida, all the way into Alabama, you know, which is this big swipe of territory that all the, these, these uh, 
uh, planes and the winds are going to bring in from all four corners right around the Bay of the Holy Spirit in Mobile Bay. It's going to be a hug. And I was just on Mobile Bay, you know, the Bay of the Holy Spirit with Brett Holderbaum, a yes. spiritual son to me in the Lord. And Something awesome happened while you were there. Yeah, and we were about to get off and go eat at Felix's. If you, if you get a chance to go, to go to Felix's in Mobile, you want to go there. An old seafood restaurant, great food. And I'm telling him about what the Lord has laid on my heart because what he told me is very, very specifically is that if the justice has to come down mm. before the outpouring of provision is going to come. And it's very specific. I've talked about this before, gold rain. You've seen the gold on our intros. That's the gold rain that God's shown me, that once justice is served, once God, God's gavel comes down on the bench, think about this, once it comes out on the bench, the moment that happens, provision begins to get released. And it's God judging the evildoer. And what you're seeing right now, I know that in our nation, maybe around the world, we're literally seeing the Justice Department holding back justice. Hmm. Where God's wanting to serve justice and just like, you know, let's clean everything out, let's get everything right, let's just, let's just humble ourselves. And there's this tension between our very own Justice Department it's holding back, but, but while I was telling him this, while I was telling him this, the glory of God, John, fell right on top of it. It just, just enveloped wow. us. He was halfway in the driver's seat getting out, and I was halfway in the passenger's seat getting out, and God's glory just hugged us and was like, you got something right, that was right, right? And we just kind of got overtaken by the glory, not just the, but the glory of God, the weightiness wow. on the side of the Bay of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And so I want to encourage you, we're just going to go to break, and we haven't got to what we're going to talk about, but we'll talk about it after this break, which is a prophetic word coming to pass, prophesied by Pastor John Kilpatrick about people being hungry for the truth again. But understand this, start praying for justice to come down like a mighty river. The justice of God to come down. Now, push yourself under the blood. Realize the justice of God outside of the grace of God in your life means it comes down upon us. But when you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life and you repent for your life and your, of a sin, then the justice comes, our heart has already come down on Jesus. Mm. But justice has to come. Things have to break loose. And, and, and in this particular vision that God showed me, that nobody believed it was going to happen. But it didn't matter because it still came down. And the moment that gavel, John, touched that, that gavel pad, yeah. rain came down. It was gold shavings of rain just pouring down in this courtroom. And you couldn't even see each other. It was so thick. So I just want to, I just, I just want to pray over you right now. I know that we're mm. extended this thing, but I just, want to, I just want to pray over you. And I just want to speak hope over you. Yes. Listen, if you feel hopeless, if really, you probably maybe said this. Maybe this is you going like, I just feel like everything's a sham. I preached the, the Bible, I preached something I once believed in, and I don't even know if I believe in it anymore, and what's going on, and, and the whole thing. That's just the enemy attacking you. It's all the same. You just needed some rest. You need to get into the glory of God and rest and be refreshed, like Isaiah, 50, I think Isaiah, I forget the name of the sabbatical, that you need to be able to kick mm -hmm. back and rest. And once you do that, you know, you do that under the glory of God. So don't, don't give up. Point your heart towards God. Cry out for revival. You know, whatever it takes, be willing to do whatever it takes for you to be a part of what God's going to do in this day. It's going to be the greatest harvest you've ever seen before in your life. Mm. And as a matter of fact, it's going to come over the internet and online, and it's going to bring in the greatest harvest you've ever seen. As a matter of fact, take a look at this now. The Lord said there's coming a great international harvest of souls through the internet and online. He said that the internet will light up as the Holy Spirit accelerates his mighty wonders. He also said that the net and lines will bring tremendous and miraculous provision to the body of Christ because time is of the essence and the waters are abundant for harvest. Listen, we're fixing to go to break, but this is happening. I want you to be a part of it. Write to us, comment below. Write to us at friends at vfnkb.com. Forget what everybody's saying. You got to be wanted, wanted like the woman with the issue of blood. You got to go after God. And yeah. if you go, if you draw near to Him, He's not a liar. He says, "I will draw near to you," and you're going to encounter God right where you are. But also, what God's going to be doing in this day. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfnkb.com.
I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.